My name is Doris Bitar. I'm here at the Hyde Gallery at Grossmont College. Um, I'm part of a group exhibit called Into Abstraction, and I was invited to show my piece, Tarab Soundings 4. This is the fourth time I've done it. It changes every time I do it. Tarab Soundings is an interactive installation piece involving a dulcimoon, a new 87-stringed instrument designed by Batar. It's played by moving a gliding panel with a plectra that plucks the strings of three hexagons, each tuned to a different culture, Aztec, Chinese, and Arab. The purpose is really to create a, a space where we can discuss things of, of cultural relevance and importance, um, also a way to engage students. There are a number of art students here in different disciplines, and this is an opportunity for them to kind of see what's going on in the field um, and educate them about uh, what they might want to do. Right now I'm doing something a little different in that I'm letting the pattern go, you know, way above and way below. It's kind of spilling out onto the floor. It's something I haven't done when it was shown at the California Center for the Arts and this was in Berlin last summer and then Stuttgart in the fall. The inside of the sliding decorative panel, which is a pattern from Damascus, but it's also been seen in India and China and Japan. Anyway, there's a plectra right here. So we're going to try it now to see if it can strike the instrument. It might miss it altogether. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. It's just missing. It's a piece that combines or mashes up the dominant cultures of our country or Southern California. The uh, Aztec, Mexican cultures, the Asian or Chinese, and the Arabic or Indo-European cultures. And it's a music and pattern making piece. To me, I think one of the interesting connections between Doris's work and the others, abstract painting tends to look inwardly. The difference between Doris's, which is really interesting to me, is that it's actually kind of an outward process, especially the fact that she's using music um, something that's very universal. The other part of this is the sliding panel, which not only plays the instrument, but also creates patterns. When it is moved just a little bit and the two patterns overlap, you get different patterns. You know, just the littlest movement looks, makes it could look, look like cubist, you know, Bauhaus, lace, and uh, it's interactive, so people can play with it and, and reference various cultures um, that are represented in California.